Some football fans were surprised to see Matt Corral's name pop up on the Birmingham Stallions roster in 2024. Let's talk about Corral's entry into the UFL. Is this the path forward for the former NFL quarterback? And what roads led him to Birmingham? I felt really comfortable in talking with him and hearing him explain uh, his situation. Corral's pro quarterback journey starts at Ole Miss. In the COVID year of 2020, Corral was a star sophomore. He passed for more than 3,300 yards and 29 touchdowns in leading Ole Miss to an Outback Bowl win over Indiana. He had another stellar season in 2021, leading Ole Miss to the Sugar Bowl, where he suffered a high ankle sprain and was unable to throw at the NFL Combine. Still, Corral was listed by many draft experts as the number three quarterback in the draft. There were questions about his off-the-field behavior, and Corral fell to the third round of the draft where the Carolina Panthers traded up to get it. The injury bug bit again as Corral was hobbled with a Liz Frank injury in a preseason game, and he never played a real down for the Panthers. In 2023, Corral was waived by Carolina and then signed by the New England Patriots. Before the opening game, Corral walked off the practice field and reportedly no one could find him for two days. There was obviously worry because Corral was open about his struggles with depression. It was documented in this 2022 story from Yahoo Sports. After the incident in 2023 with the Patriots, Corral was released as a free agent, but was said to be added to the Patriots practice squad 10 days later. However, according to a report from ESPN, Corral had a change of heart. He never came back to the Patriots and reportedly never worked out for another team. Now we move forward to 2024, where Corral joined the UFL's Birmingham Stallions. Stallions head coach Skip Holtz was well aware of what had happened with Corral in his last stops, and he had a heart-to-heart -heart with it. I had some great conversations with Matt before we ever signed, uh, as we were in the recruiting process of free agency and we were on the phone and we were visiting uh that was one of the questions that i wanted answered uh what's the commitment level here why why did things happen in the past the way they happened and what's going to change moving forward why are we not going to be in that situation again and i was very comfortable visiting with matt with all the things that he was facing during that time and why he made the decision that he did and how motivated he is uh, to come back and, and to have this opportunity again. There's no question Holtz is looking for a quarterback to start or to complement the starter for the 2024 season, but from the outside looking in, it appears Holtz is willing to give Corral a path to get back to the NFL and give this talented quarterback another platform that maybe some on the NFL level were unwilling to give the 25-year-old. I think we're going to learn day in and day out. We're going to have good days. We're going to have bad days. I'm not concerned with how he's going to uh, how he's going to respond to his good days, but it's going to be we're going to learn a lot about where we are and how he's going to respond to maybe some bad days or some adversity he may have. Uh, but I felt really comfortable in talking with him and hearing him explain uh, his situation take ownership for some of the things that he could have done better um, and why he made the decisions he did and why he's so excited about continuing to play. So uh, I think Matt uh, is in a different headspace right now. I think he's in a different place. I think he's got uh, a different mindset than he did at that point. The UFL prides itself on being a league of opportunity, and this could very well be a great opportunity for Matt Corral. It is certainly a story to watch for in 2024. If you want more all-football content, hope you'll like and subscribe and check out some of these other videos on my channel.